these are the colors that I'm gonna use but I may need to add one or the other so I'm gonna keep it open especially the grays and maybe some blue but I think I will definitely need this and maybe so maybe I will get this nice salmon one the orange another orange and I don't know I will just put the pinks as well that's too cold this one and the green and this one where was it? and the purple <laughs> yeah all of them okay hi everyone I decided to keep the section where I choose the color palette because many of you have asked how I go about it and in reality as you can see I go by feeling I do put thought into it but in the end I end up grabbing the ones that I feel look nicer together if I can I would like to put together a video where I talk about how I learned color theory in a very simple manner really because I'm not a very technical person um, but I will see if I can fit it here or for Patreon or what I do with it. But yeah, I, I would like to make one. Maybe it will take me a while. By the way, I'm very sorry about the lighting. From now on, on future videos, it should be a lot better since I got a new lamp. But this one doesn't look its best. Right after I recorded this and saw the footage, I just couldn't postpone it any longer so I did some research and bought a lamp right away. I already tried it and recorded a long tutorial for Patreon with it. I'm very pleased. The only shame is that I didn't get it sooner. I was struggling for quite a few months with the lighting here. I will still need an extra lamp or a softbox or something like that to bring light into the room but I think that one can wait a bit longer. This one, it was a must. So today, I'd like to talk about the differences between Sennelier and Neopastel oil pastels and how I am adapting my painting methods to the different weather conditions. I know saying it out loud sounds a bit silly because it's something that I never had to think about with my other paints, but um, hear me out. <laughs> Up until recently, I've only used Sennelier oil pastels or almost exclusively. I would bring some of the other, some specific sticks here and there, but the bulk of the paintings were done in Sennelier or with Sennelier. You know, I really like them and the color range is the best in my opinion or is the best for what I like to do, but it is so hot right now that using them is, um, it has become a mess. It is a total mess. Before they used to feel very creamy and, and nice and now they feel more like grease than cream, if that makes any sense. They are super messy. My hands get dirty so fast, I'm constantly having to clean them and wiping them off and I have to be much more careful than before while I'm painting or like moving my hands around because I can smear paint anywhere around, it just happens. Another thing that has changed is that because they are much softer, um, they apply more thickly and doing thin layers is much harder and pff, putting fine detail, it, they blend, I don't know how to express it, it's like they blend endlessly. They blend and blend, but at the same time it takes me more effort to achieve the same look that I used to. It just feels a bit harder to paint. They are not so pleasurable, I would say, like the feeling of them in my hands. It's just... Mm. Think of them like that lipstick that you leave inside a car on a nice hot sunny day. That soft. Something like that. I love them, I still love them, but at the moment I'm not enjoying them very much. I'm completely sure that in a month and a half or two months I will be looking forward again to using them, but for now I much prefer painting with the harder neopastel. Neopastels now are softer than they were at 20 degrees before, but I would say that they are easier to work with now 
They were maybe too hard for me and now they are perfect. They became more blendable somehow. And even though I only have 10, I am using them a lot. <laughs> I'm using them a lot. I'm very happy with the consistency and how well they layer. And they do allow for very thin applications and just in general, I am enjoying them a lot. They are super nice. Anyway, even if I'm using more Neopastel, I think that there are a few of those Sennelier colors that I don't want to be without. Especially those muted purples that I see all over this painting and many others. I love those shades. They are really nice. I especially love them for the shadows. You see, I like to put mauve and purples everywhere. <laughs> but especially on the shadows, I think they look very nice. So those three, I think, I don't have any painting where I haven't used at least one of them, but more often than not two. And also they have many of these um, slightly muted orangey light skin colors, like, you know, like what you would think of skin tones for light skin. Yeah, I think I will always bring some of them, even if the bulk of the painting is done with Neopastel, just because the color range is really great. The Neopastel one is also very nice, but for what I do, it's brighter. It is more saturated and has less options of slightly muted colors. It really depends on what you prefer. I like to use more neutrals. I don't know, not super bright, but it's still very nice. Also, the fact that I can easily sharpen them is just mm, perfect. I would think the biggest thing is that they are nowhere near as messy as the other ones. They feel nice when you grab them, when you hold them and use them, they feel nice. It's just they don't feel like a tacky, greasy mess on the fingers. Maybe I'm just too picky when it comes to this tactile experience or yeah, the feeling on the hands. When it comes to that, I prefer soft pastels. You do get some dirt because there is powder, but I think the mess is very minimal and it comes off of your hands in like half a second. If you have baby wipes around or a wet towel, something like that, you just glide it over and it's gone. While with Senelier oil pastels, because they are so greasy now, you have to be wiping off constantly and yeah my hands are a bit the skin of my hands is a bit peely at the moment with so much blending and cleaning so i would say in between soft pastel and sennelier oil pastel the messiness of neo pastel is somewhere in the middle maybe anyway uh i'm still learning and experimenting and all of that so for now i think neo pastel will be like my summer oil pastel and sennelier for the rest of the year and then combined and all of that or i don't know that's what i think now but i will see and other than that i don't think i have a lot more to say and with the current state of my throat and my voice i probably shouldn't say much more so i hope you liked it and see you soon have a nice day bye bye